Destroying this beast has been a spectacle. Since the first public burning, that was in 1926, a procession made their way behind City Hall where they saw the creature illuminated by green flames. The city attorney read his death sentence and the fires turned red, setting off fireworks. A column of many colored flames engulfed the marionette. Onlookers threw off their robes, revealing their costumes, and they began to celebrate. That pageantry has grown, and today you'll see Gloomies, Torchbearers, and the Fire Dancer kick off the festivities. I had a chance to talk to the people who make this performance happen. It's a typical morning inside the New Mexico Ballet Company. Dancers warm up and rehearse. One, two, three. This is just one of many things Ella, in the purple shirt there, is doing to get ready for a New Mexico performance like no other. So every year it'll be different sort of theatrics different styles, different costumes, um, and kind of making it on a, a grander scale every year as we do it. <laughs> Kira Peterson is in charge of Zazobra choreography for the Gloomies. She too will be dancing with them. They're excited about the theme. This year it's gonna be very 90s. You'll recognize it right away. <laughs> From the Gloomies to the Torchbearers, they're gonna be in very different costumes, but pretty recognizable for the like genre that we're doing of, of the music. According to Zazobra lore, Gloomies are children who turn to the dark side, but are cured once Zazobra is burned. This is the second year the New Mexico Ballet Company has done the show, and it's a lot of work. It's been like every weekend now we're going up there and rehearsing in the space, and it's and then the, the dancers here with New Mexico Ballet, they meet, we're meeting like twice a week to rehearse in the studio before we go up to the to the park. The townspeople rise up and summon the help of a fire dancer who gets rid of Zazobra and his sour attitude by burning all of those sorrows away. And then just start, you know, lifting weights for those torches. They're pretty heavy. Helene Luna is the fire spirit. She's been doing this for 15 years now. She runs, lifts weights, and dances in the summer to get in shape for the performance in the fall. But I do not put on that costume till the night. There's something about that tradition of just, okay, now I'm becoming it. The moment is here. So for that pageantry, for me, is just fine tuning that last week. And then when I do put on that unitard, just, okay, I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's do this. The fire dancer is Zobra's arch enemy, dressed in a flowy red costume and a headdress and armed with a pair of those heavy blazing torches that seals Zazobra's fate. Luna is only the fourth fire dancer in the history of Zazobra. Here's a picture of the first. Jacques Cartier, the ballet dancer from New York, came to Santa Fe for 37 straight years to be the fire dancer. He was succeeded in 1970 by his student Chip. There's Chip in 1987. And now Luna has the role. It takes months of prep for one big fiery night. When you get in front of a crowd that's over 30,000 people, it's just different, and that's adrenaline, and that, for me, is when you just focus on your character and try to bring in the most fierce character and energy that you can bring so that you can really create this magical moment. All of the performers are volunteers.